A lot of you want to dress well, but you don't see other men around you doing the same thing. Perhaps you are hesitant about wearing the clothes that you want for fear of judgment. In this video, I'm going to give you five ways to have the confidence that you need to dress however you like, whenever you like. I want you to feel your best every day, and that means expressing your style authentically. The vast majority of reactions you will receive as a well-dressed man will be overwhelmingly positive, but sometimes just being different requires courage. So let's start off with the first pillar of confidence for a well-dressed man. You already have a strong reason inside you for why you want to dress well. One of those reasons must be because dressing up makes you feel good. There is a feeling you get when you put on that jacket, that tie, and it's a feeling that you love. It's important that you feel that positive energy fully and notice that you already have some kind of confidence before stepping out the door. Although you're still unsure about what others might think, you know that you think you look your best right now. Embrace this feeling and remind yourself how much you like these clothes and how they make you feel. Remember that this is the version of yourself that you enjoy being the most. Maybe you spend a little extra time looking in the mirror. There's nothing wrong with using a little vanity to boost your confidence. Perhaps take some photos of your outfit so you can see how you look and feel proud to know that that is you. Personally, I've always enjoyed getting ready to music because it puts me in a good mood. Whatever you can do to enhance and enjoy the experience of getting dressed will put you in a positive frame of mind and give you that extra confidence before you go out into the world. Another option is to start dressing up slowly, introducing new pieces and new levels of formality one step at a time. For example, you could begin by wearing a safari jacket like this instead of a blazer or a suit. This is no less stylish, but it is less formal and it's less likely to make you feel like the odd one out. Or start by switching your sneakers for a pair of leather Chelsea boots or loafers. It's wise to build your wardrobe slowly anyway, and changing your look gradually is less likely to provoke any strong reactions. And even though I feel fully confident in the way I dress, I still like to choose things that are a little more casual. That's why I generally prefer knit ties to silk ties, and why I almost exclusively wear a button-down collar. I also much prefer odd jackets and trousers to a full suit. My next step to improve your confidence is to remember your heroes. You likely have a personal idol of style who inspired you to dress this way. Perhaps it's an old movie star like Cary Grant or Alain Delon. It could be a fictional character such as James Bond or Don Draper. It could also just be an influencer that you saw online and you thought looked cool. Or perhaps you're inspired by a combination of all of the above. Remember that the clothes you wear are your way of being like those idols. It's your way to feel like the man you want to be in everyday life and be the main character in your own movie. So when you wear the grey flannel suit, Yes, you are a bit more like Cary Grant. If you're dressed to kill in that fitted polo and chucker boots, then yes, you do look a bit more like James Bond. And remember that the way your idols dressed is a huge part of why they were perceived as so cool and so adored. So there is nothing wrong with channeling the style of these heroes. Having these icons in mind will also help you create more classic outfits that you know look good. So I fully encourage you to embrace this feeling of dressing like the man you want to be. My next tip to improve your confidence is to practice. To achieve ultimate confidence, you want your best outfits to feel like a second skin. The more you wear these clothes, both inside and outside the home, the more natural they will feel. You want to be able to lounge around in them like a pair of pajamas. Wearing these clothes more and more also means they stop feeling like such a big deal to you. It will become no less special, but it will become less intimidating and therefore less of a reason to get nervous. You can even wear a tie around the home so you get used to doing the knot every morning and the feeling of having it around your neck. Next, it's time to practice wearing these clothes out and about. Use any opportunity you have to get dressed up. Going to the dentist, going to the grocery store, put on a tie and jacket. Stop waiting for the right moment to dress the way you want and see this as the way you dress now, always. Will doing this mean that more people start noticing you? Yes, but not in a bad way. In fact, the more you wear these clothes in public and the more you see people's reactions, 
you'll begin to appreciate and enjoy this feeling of being noticed. You'll get so used to it that you won't want to go out dressed ordinary and casual again. But to you, the clothes won't feel like a big deal because you've practiced wearing them to the point where it's ordinary and familiar. Out of all the tips in this video, this is the one I found the most useful. And it's given me a lot of enjoyment because I now get to wear my favorite clothes and look my best all the time. As you do this, you might find yourself gravitating toward certain pieces and certain outfits time and time again. I know I do. That's because these clothes become like your best friends and you remember all the times that you wore them before and felt so incredibly confident. If you are worried about what people think or you overhear some mean comments, remember this. You and those people have a very different perception of what a man should wear. The types of guys that make jokes about your clothes are likely wearing football jerseys, cargo shorts, and running shoes. It's actually a compliment to you if they acknowledge how different you are from them. And there's no need to fear opinions that you do not value. If your family members make jokes, remember they're actually very proud of the way you present yourself and they're just being lighthearted. My dad is not into style and he used to make jokes like, are you wearing your bowler hat to dinner tonight? Or where's your smoking jacket? But I knew that was just his way of lightheartedly pointing out the differences between me and him. So if you ever feel criticized, just laugh it off and remember that you are happy dressing this way. And no matter what other people think, it's the way that you think you look best. Gentlemen, I hope this video has been useful to any of you who want to dress up more, but you feel like you need an extra boost of confidence to do so. I want to know in the comments if you are somebody who has struggled with this. Perhaps you just don't see other guys around you dressing in this way. Or perhaps you don't feel like dressing up is compatible with the lifestyle you have or the place you live. If you wish you knew other men who dressed this way and share your passion for style, then I might have some good news for you. I previously spoke about creating a new club for young gentlemen here in the city of Chicago. I am now planning on doing my first ever in-person meetup. It will be sometime in the next couple of months, and I need all of you gents who might be interested to go into the description and hit the link to register your interest. That way I can see how many people to expect and choose an appropriate venue. I'm very excited to say this is happening. This event could be the start of something very special and much bigger in the future. So please do visit the link below and enter your email so I can share the date and venue with you when it's all confirmed. Thank you for watching gentlemen and I will see you in the next one.